Niccolo is the first character I actually saw when I finally got to see Dragon Ball Z. I used to read this this um, this magazine. I don't know if it exists anymore. It's called An America. And An America would just do a huge cover story each month on a major series. And they did one on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, it's Dragon Ball Saga. And it intrigued me because it said, you know, I grew up and I watched, you know, if you watch Charlie Brown, you know, Peanuts, those kids stay the same age forever and ever. They never grow up. And it, it intrigued me in this one because, like, these, the characters grow up. They have kids. They get married. And then the, the story continues. And then you see the kids' story. And it's like, that's cool. I mean, now they think it's pretty commonplace. But it's the first time I had ever seen a show really do that. I hadn't seen that in American animation. And I read about it, and I thought, this sounds really interesting. So I looked at my TV Guide, remember TV Guide? I used to print a little magazine called TV Guide. I'm like, where's Dragon Ball Z? Does that even show? Ooh, Saturday morning at 5.30 a.m. <laughs> so, staring at my VCR that's blinking 12. Remember those? Because you never learned how to program it. So I worked out the manual and learned how to program the VCR. <laughs> and then I would tape it. Take my first episode of Dragon Ball Z. And then um, it's like, all right, cool, it tapes. Now I'm going to hit play. And the very first character was like Piccolo. And it's like, oh, that's awesome, that's cool. And then he gets his arm blown off. And like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> then he's like Swamp Thing. He just grows it back or something. Like, okay, I, I, can, I, can, I can deal with this. Now, when I voice PyCon, Chris Sabbath goes, that's a cool voice. And, Man, if you come along a couple of years ago, you could have been Piccolo. It's like, don't tell me that! <laughs> oh. I'm a big Scott McNeil fan. See, I'm, I, I'm kind of influenced by what I heard first, much like many otaku who are like, English sucks! Why aren't you Japanese? It's like, if you watch a show in Japanese, you're used to hearing those voices first. So it's really hard, it's hard to make the adjustment when you hear an English version. No matter how hard we try, it's like, it sucks! And you're like, sorry, sorry. But um, they hired us. I'm doing my job. You know, when you when you hear a when you hear a bad dub, don't just say the actor sucks. The actor did their job. You know, if we didn't do what ended up on the final mix, then we wouldn't have been hired in the first place. It's like, no, I refuse to say it that way. I'm like, get out of my booth, troublemaker. So we do the job that's active, asked of us. We have to do the performance. Sometimes a little more over the top, sometimes a little flat, a little wooden. That's not our call. That's the director's call or the client. In this case, toy But, um, I'm on tangents now. Boy, the coffee's kicking in. So, 